Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to solve the daily challenge from lead code. So let's see the question, uh, which is count nice pairs in an array, and this is a medium level problem. And the question is, uh, you are given an array nums that consists of uh, non-negative integers. Let us define div uh, x uh, as the reverse of non-negative integers x. For example, div of one two three will be uh, three to one. And uh, rev or, or the reverse of one to zero is equal to twenty one because zero to one and two one is all uh, is same. Okay, and uh, a pair of indices i j is nice uh, if it satisfy all the following conditions. And uh, which is the condition, sir? Zero is less than or equal to i less than j less than nums of length. Okay, uh, and uh, nums of i. Plus uh, reverse of uh, nums of j is equal to uh, nums of j plus reverse of nums of i. Okay, perfect. Uh, if the both two uh, conditions are satisfied, then we consider the pair as the nice pair. And uh, we need to return the number of nice pairs of indices. Mm, since the number can be too large, return it. Uh, modulo 10 to the power n plus 7. Okay, not an issue. So we need to find out the how many nice pairs are there in this uh, given uh, given nums, okay, or the array. So let me found. Mm. In the example, you can see we have given an array, and uh, the array is forty two, eleven, one, ninety seven. In this case, we have output is two. How can we find find the output is two? You can see that this one and this one. If we take these uh, two pairs, i, this is i, and this is j, okay, and uh, i is less than j, perfect, and uh, up if we find out that forty uh, two plus uh, nine uh, reverse of ninety seven will be seventy nine, the forty two plus seventy nine will be what one twenty one, and the ninety seven plus for reverse of forty two which is twenty four ninety seven plus twenty uh, four will be one to one again. So we can consider this as a nice pair. So it will uh, the output is output is incremented by one, and after that, eleven uh, and ten will be again a perfect or a nice uh, pair. In this case, eleven the you know you can consider that eleven the pair of eleven uh, and one uh, in the first element eleven and the reverse of one which is one will be twelve and one plus uh, reverse of eleven again will be twelve. So you can consider uh, that the, it has two uh, nice indices, and the same has applied for this example too. And let's see what can we do. So for this case, ah, uh, we can just uh, think about the condition that nums of i plus reverse of nums plus j is equal to uh, nums of j plus reverse of nums of i. We can consider that nums of i minus reverse of nums of j. And nums of j is which is equal to nums of j minus reverse of nums of j, like that. Uh, we just taking this part. We are taking this part, uh, this side in the left side, and this part in the right side. So when we do that, what will be happen? Uh, that uh, the plus uh, the sign will be uh, replaced by the uh, the plus sign will be minus. Okay, in this case, and if there was minus, then it will be plus. When it will just alternate the Uh, plus or minus, okay. So that is it. So after that, we can do use do everything using a hash map, and let's code it. And uh, one by one, I will understand the whole code. So first of all, let's declare the uh, our given mod value, which is ten to the power nine plus seven. Then we can declare the size of nums, which is Num size, and then what we have? We have uh, we can find out the reverse. Okay, we as we can see the reverse is given like that. This is like function. We can create a reverse array also. So without wasting time, let's create a reverse array because we will need this in some time. It will take uh, up to n size, and in the first moment it will be zero and Let's have a for loop, and let's go up to n times. And what? How can we get this? That while the 
Oh, before that, we can con we need to consider the another uh, thing is the uh, vector int a temporary value else it will just change the value let's have a temp which is equal to num and when it happens what can we consider that when the temp of i is greater than 0 then what can we do that uh, the rev of i is equal to rev of i into 10 multiply using 10 plus plus what plus uh, the modulo of 10 like that okay temp of i that modulo perfect perfect or not yeah then we can uh, do in decrement by the 10 by dividing by 10 which is equal to 10 perfect every time we will get the reverse value in the reverse array and uh, then what can we do we just got everything let's create a map okay which is a hash map or another map what can we take yeah and let's have the name as frequency yeah perfect and what can we do now we can find out our answer so let's take the long long answer is equal to zero and every time when we'll go up to like uh, this let's take it and int and take it as it and uh, before that i think we need another thing that i have uh, told you now uh, like in this case we can just change the whole conditions by alternating this part and this part and just uh, do it for as soon as possible so for that we also need an uh, let's just uh, leave leave this part right now let's just uh, create uh, the another part which will be just taking equal to array and for int i equal to 0 i is greater than n i plus plus it will just add the array uh, which will be array dot pushback which will be nums of i plus rev of i like it is the reverse of the num side like yeah we have uh, already made it and after that we can consider this this part where uh, the it will be go in will be used in the array and we'll just considering our answer like that answer equal to uh, you can consider that answer plus plus what answer plus the map the frequency how many frequency are there we will count like that answer of answer frequency so, uh, it will be like that and after that we need to use a modulo and every time we will just increase the value like by one ok and I think I have done something mistake over here you can see that it will be minus that at, as we have uh, shown that uh, it, this one minus this one will be equal to this one minus this one so i i is in the left side and the jj is the right side so we just use the normal basic maths so this will be minus and uh, then what can we just return return the answer value will be the perfect let's run it i hope there have not any compilation errors let's check let's check if there have some error we'll just fix it yeah that is a perfect code and runtime is 0 millisecond and everything is done and let's submit it after that we'll just consider that the analyze the time complexity and the space complexity of this code and yeah this is the perfect accepted code let's discuss the time complexity and the space complexity of this code so let's see in this case we have just checked that uh, here we have a for loop and a while nested while loop in the while loop you can just check that it will go up to the length of the one element and every time it will just say go up to this and uh, this will go up to o of uh, n time that means we can consider that the whole uh, loop whole nested loop will go up to uh, n into d where d is the number uh, d is the max uh, uh, means the size of the element like 
if 42 we can count it as a 2 d will be 2 if uh, 11 it it will be 2 if 1 it will be 1 uh, and it can go up too many times and uh, uh, okay so the holding is uh, o of n into d and in this case it will go up to uh, 0 to n times which will be uh, o of n and it in this case it will again go up to o of n so you can consider this is o of n so let's uh, remove this part i hope uh, Okay, so the time complexity for this case will be O of M and the how the space complexity of O of M? Let's check. Uh, in the reverse array, we have used uh, N and every time we just uh, add it in the in the array and uh, that is how. And again, we have just created an array and push it back every N times. So in the worst case, it can go up to N times. So we can consider the space complexity of this code will be O of M. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have just understood every part of this code and uh, if you think that uh, in this case the frequency will be added if uh, it uh, does not match this uh, match these things this condition it will not happen because for the, in this example you can see that for the example which is just uh, used one time and will not add it will not mm, just check one again it will just for the first time it will it will be zero and uh, it will just increment it by one so second time if it is not happened then it will not uh, increase right so that is how the code is works that is how the code is accepted and it, you don't need to worry about the things this is the logical part and uh, I hope the logic is clear that my approach is clear thank you guys for watching this video I will see you in the next time